I have noticed you have unoptimized gear, so I will start from this. There are different kind of gear sets, namely branded gear that you can see on your local alert, name gear, gear sets, and exotic gear. Branded gear gives you talents, attributes, and cure attributes. I will come back to attributes later. There are many brands in the game, all have different focuses. Some have more skill based talents, attributes and some are made for dps and armor name gear also have brands but they also have unique talents to them those talents are not available to any other gear piece same goes for named weapons as well gear set there are many gear sets in the game each have unique three tier talents to them to activate all three talents you have to equip with at least four piece of gear out of six and here comes the gear game. You can mix and match exotic and and with gear sets or branded gear to match your needs. Exotic items. These are very rare drops and have unique talents to them. Along with attributes, you can only keep two exotic gear pieces at a time and one exotic gun at a time. Many exotic pieces are just limited to some missions or boss drops. What are attributes and core attributes? There are attributes that focus on armor, weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, armor regen, skill damage, skill heist, and other skill related attributes. In the division 2, first you need to get the gear piece or set you need, then head at recalibration, and here you can replace talent. Or attributes or core attributes of your gear pieces or guns but keep it in mind only one of either things can be replaced so choose wisely one thing they have added in the division 2 is that if you find a certain gun or gear piece that you don't need but it has max out or god roll god roll attributes you can extract that attribute from the gun or item and store it for future use but that gun or item will be destroyed from your inventory. Same goes for all gear pieces. How to know which attribute you need for your gear? Well, it depends on your build. If you are focusing on more tanky build, then you should focus for blue icon, armor or armor region core attributes. If you are focusing on high damage melting build then red icon weapon damage crit damage crit chance this might sound easy but it's not in the division 2 you need damage as much as you need armor for survivability as you have just completed basic end game it's time for you to farm in the hardest missions of the game legendary incursions recently added summit descent and last but not least raids for example i am extracting explosive delivery from my talent from my gear this talent will be stored in my re recalibration library for future use i can use this talent on any other gear piece but not on gear sets keep that in mind same thing you can do for your guns but keep that in mind, you can only extract one thing from your item and after that your item will be destroyed from your inventory. You can see, I have a named weapon burnout, but this weapon has very low core attributes and attributes. So here I can make a decision with which thing I should change. For example, I have a replacement for assault rifle. This thing is already extracted. I have already extracted from an, another gun. You can choose this one, but you cannot further change, make any changes to this gun. Materials are also very important in the end game. You need a lot of material to recalibrate, craft, or even craft new modes. You can get all of your materials by just simply dismantling your unneeded gear sets, guns. If you dismantle your named or any brand sets, you will get that material for that particular brand set. Here is another example. 
I have made my chest piece to be fully focused on damaged. But you can see I have two choices. If I am running low on armor, I can replace this attribute, core, core attribute, with armor attribute. But that will reduce my weapon damage by 15% and increase my armor by 1,30,000%. After recalibration, it's time for optimization station. Here you can max out your core attributes or attributes. Optimization requires a lot of materials. At the bottom of the screen, you can see we need a lot of material for optimization. If you have core attributes, attributes that you need, you can come to the optimization and optimize Optimize your core attributes and attributes. You don't have to farm for same item again and again to get the code roll. You can do that in the optimization. After optimization, we come to expertise level. There are total 377 expertise levels. And to achieve them, you have to play a lot of division 2. In the division 2, each item has its own expertise level you just have to equip that item and play the game until it reached to the level 10 so there are 377 items in the game and each item had its own expertise level and each item has to be reached at level 10 then only you will achieve one expertise level there is no shortcut for this you have to play a lot of division 2 to achieve the maximum expertise level. It took me a month to reach at expertise level 20 and there are 25 complete expertise levels. There is another way to increase your offensive, defensive, utility and handling core attributes performance. In division 2 it's called SHD level. It's basically your watch level. You just have to play the game and you will receive points for your abilities for offensive, defensive, utility and handling. Or even you can get materials from those points as well. It gives us a nice boost to our builds. You can also give boost to your build by adding mods. Each mods are focused on defensive, offensive and utility. Mods like headshot damage armor regeneration, status effects and many more. Then we come to the biggest change in the division 2, specializations. There are 5 total specializations, each has their own tree path. You might have unlocked all 5, five specializations, but equ equipping the right specialization with your build will give a nice boost to your build as well. For example, Sharpshooter has 15% increased marksman rifle damage. Or like Gunner has ability, by killing enemies we will grant 10% armor. So each speciali specialization has its own tree, tree path. Now comes where to find items. There are many ways to get the gear pieces that you need from the targeted loot legendary missions challenging or legendary summit open world bosses incursions dark zones and level 4 checkpoints i mean control points if you don't have strong build or you don't know how to build something or if you are solo player like me the first i will suggest to complete level 4 control points have some gear that can stand you in the legendary missions. After completing control points, go for daily challenging missions. Then play decent or summit at challenging difficulty. And then when you have a build that you can you think you can stand on legendary missions, go for legendary missions, incursions, or complete 10 to 20 levels of summit in the legendary or heroic or challenging difficulty I will suggest you to go with heroic difficulty I don't recommend farming in the DZ because of less chance of getting amazing loot 
even if you get the god draw or something there is a chance you might lost it to the rock players raids are also way are also great way to get a lot of loot but that mission requires serious team work with eight players to play with i also recommend you to avoid long missions in harder difficulty as they are really annoying i will suggest you to play summit on heroic or challenging difficulty and do not select any of the directives as they don't give you any kind of boost in the loot select the loot you needed in the summit and then farm for about 30 to 40 levels i found this to be easiest easiest way to build your character there are high chances that you will get exotics as well but as I have mentioned, some exotic items are only limited to these specific legendary missions or boss fights. I hope I have answered all of your questions and this video helps you. Now I will show you my build that you can, you can farm for and this build can stand out legendary missions as well. So start your first build by making this build. Hope you have enjoyed and i will be waiting for your feedback see you soon